Hi, this is David with farmfreshcode.com. Well, now that I've been able to uh, launch my website uh, that I was working on, I thought I would go back and show you some of the little modules that I've been able to put together. Um, the one that I'm going to talk about today is the banner ads section that we have right here. Um, this section uses a little script to call one of our banner ad images at random and display it on the page. We're using the same script for both the large and the small banner ads here. Um, this is just one of the many ways that we're trying to provide fresh content to our returning visitors. Um, so let's take a quick look at the admin and I can show you how I have it set up. So here we have here we have our admin. Uh, this is kind of my root tree here. I've got the section for banner ads. Um, and inside that I have some various options, both the, the large one and the small one. You know, we'll take a look at the large one here. Um, start off right is the one that we have uh, displaying right now as our semester just started. Um, so here I have uh, an easy banner image upload where we can upload the file for the first time or, or manage it and, and uh, replace it in the future. Um, next we just have a simple banner URL that we can type in there and link uh, the image to any URL that we want. And then I have description text which I'm using as alt text uh, within the code. And then finally we have a section here where you can hide the banner from rotation. So as I mentioned, uh, right now the script uh, should pull any one of these images uh, and display it at random each time a user refreshes the page. Um, but instead of having to delete an image that you no longer want to come up in rotation, you can simply check this and uncheck it as you want. That way you can remove the banner or reinstate it as you need. So right now we're going to uh, get rid of this image, uh, this banner, because the, the term is well underway. Um, so we'll just click that and we'll publish it here. All right, and then I'm going to go into this one and we're going to reinstate this one. All right, so if we go back to our website and we refresh the page, you'll see that now we have a different banner ad. And it's got the different alt tag, which I've included in there as well. Um, so that's basically, you know, really simple uh, banner ad management that we're using for our website. Um, the script is controlled uh, by a really simple XSLT file, which I'll uh, include the, the full source code for that if you uh, click the link here, which I'll provide in the video. And I'll also include screenshots on the, uh, the plugins and, and uh, document types that I use to set this up. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.